All right, well, let's test some other things that we can test, try to figure out what's wrong with this thing. So uh, there's uh, X deflection plates and Y deflection plates on the CRT. And right here, uh, I'm not touching, I'm just pointing with the thing of the camera in the way. Um, there's, there's two inductors here that feed the Y of the, uh, of the machine. I put one scope probe on that one. Let's turn the power on. And I have a uh, scope probe connected to, uh, to the A input and the calibrator. So we're looking at the Y deflection. That's the up and down deflection. And yep, there it is. It's sending the, uh, it's sending the Y, the uh, channel A into Y, which is supposed to do. And uh, I can change the gain of the channel one. And I can also change the position of channel one. And it does move it up and down in a strange way. But anyway, it moves it up and down. And we're centered right around 50 volts. So this is 50 volts per division. So we're up right around 50 volts up and down. So that all seems to work. The negative Y plate looks about the same. So the Y plate looks to be good. I want to go look at the X plate and see if it's going. I think we're having problems with our Z channel or the tube's just dead. I don't think the tube's dead though because there's a little orange light in the back. And if the tube had lost vacuum, I don't think the, unless it has a really weak vacuum, I don't think the little thing in the back would uh, work. The heater would just burn out, be exposed to, to oxygen or whatever. So anyway, I think, I think everything still might be okay. I think it's just a matter of the, either the, the high voltage transformer blew itself out. I'm not convinced yet that it was the high voltage arc. It might've been just a transistor blowing up or something, but it was a nasty little pop. Um, I went back and looked at old footage of my, uh, when I first got this thing and yeah, those wires were all crusty and dirty and stuff and from the get go. So I don't think I did that, but, uh, yeah, I don't know. Just more investigation to be had. What about that? What about that section over there? You think it's the horizontal sweep? All right. Um, I was curious to see if I have any high voltage coming out of my, um, uh, I don't know what it's called. Anyway, the, <laughs> the one that says it's 20,000 volts. Um, so I'm going to use my, my high voltage probe here and I have it touching the, uh, the little rubber cup thing. I have it removed I have it going in into, into my, uh, into my voltmeter and I'm going to be nowhere near it. I'm going to plug the, so the unit is turned on, but I'm going to plug it in. And as, as I plug it in, I hear some high voltage, a little bit of hissing sound, and I saw the meter deflect up. And uh, it's going up to about what I believe is about 5,000 volts, but I think I'm loading it down a lot. I don't think there's very much current at all on this particular uh, circuit. So I think any voltage is good. <laughs> I think as long as it's high, and 5,000 volts is high. It, it's probably, like I say, 20,000 volts if it's unloaded. Uh, it just has to charge up a capacitor in the uh, in the CRT tube. So I don't think there's a lot of current. But if somebody can say that, oh, if you're only measuring that, you know, it's not good. But I think I have a 40. Uh, I don't know what the mega ohm resistance is on the uh, on the high voltage probe is, but. You know, it is getting loaded down somewhat, not a lot, but it is getting down, loaded down somewhat. It's going into an analog meter, which is going to load it down a bit. So I think it's healthy. At least there's a positive voltage on it. So I'm going to continue. So I'm kind of down right now to the Z axis. So that's the brightness control. Uh, so when it retraces, you blank it out. Um, and you can input a Z input from the back. And so um, I've replaced one of the transistors in that circuit. And that's when I heard the pop. So maybe something else popped. There was some dodgy looking capacitors. So I went ahead and replaced those capacitors. Um, but it has this similar symptoms. I'm also taking a thermal image and I see that two of the transistors are on, so it's basically a push-pull circuit. 
and one side I think is high and one side is low and I think it's pegged um, and that might be like pegged in the off position so anyway that's where I am now